So I hear it all the time, you just get your new A7C and you're wondering what your first lens should be. And today we are going over that answer. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. And I do that through gear reviews, tutorials, and today we're going over the handy dandy lovely A7C. I absolutely love this camera. I've got plenty of other videos about this, so I'll link a playlist for you. And before I start, I gotta thank you, Andrew. You're the last person to send me an email about this question, and I did answer him. But I figured there's probably other people out there since I've seen it all the time in the forums and on YouTube and stuff like that uh, that are asking this question about what their first lens should be. So we're gonna go over that here today. And the first question you have to ask yourself is, what are you using it for? Are you using it for video? Are you using it for photography? Or are you using it for both? And there's really two lenses that boils down to that I suggest for great starters for everybody. We have the Tamron 28 to 75, and I'll go over why that is. And we also have the Tamron 17 to 28, which I have experience with. However, there might be another lens that I'll suggest to you when you get to that wide angle side and I'll let you know what that is. And you have to choose whether you want a all around like video shoot photography lens. And if that's the case, I probably would lean you towards this one. Or if you're doing mainly like landscape photography or only video and specifically vlogging then, or YouTube content, you might want to pick up a wider lens like this Tamron 17 to 28. First, we've got this Tamron 28 to 75. Now this was my first lens of choice. Right when I got my first camera, which was the a7 III, I got this because of the size and weight and the range it can do. It can go to 28 and it can get to, you know, 75. It's just pretty much the, tr everybody says you should start with a 24 to 70. And this is a great lens that fits really well on this A7C. It kind of makes it a little less compact because it does, you know, it does stick out a little bit more. But I will say that this is a great starter lens and it's still very light when you're considering other lenses that can do this range. Now I got the Tamron G1. If you were buying today, get the Tamron 2875 version two. I like the build of it a little bit better. It's got a little bit more customizability with a USB-C port upgrade for firmware updates. And the finish doesn't like leave fingerprints as much as this older version does. And the autofocus motors are slightly better. So you're gonna get better performance. However, if you find a great deal on a version one, jump on it. If budget is your concern. I did a video on this lens comparing it to like the Sigma 24 to 70 uh, with my buddy Kyle Watts and the image quality is fantastic out of this lens. It's very sharp, it's very light and the limiting thing about this thing is you don't get 24 millimeters. So that's a shame. I really do like that 24 millimeter focal length personally but this is a great lens to start out with because you can try and see what you like best. Just because I like 24 millimeters doesn't mean it's the best for you and vice versa. So I went out and bought a 24 millimeter prime. You can use this range to figure out, man, I shoot a lot of photos with at 50 millimeter. Maybe I need to look into the Sony 50 millimeter G Master if I have a lot of money or the Zeiss 55 millimeter. This will give you the opportunity to see what you really enjoy shooting at. You're gonna find a range that you're gonna be shooting at a lot typically, and you can go through either your photos or your videos and see which one you lean more towards. And then that'll tell you what your personal favorite focal range is and what you might need to invest in in the future. Or you might get to this and be like, man, this is super limiting. I really need some more wide shots. I mean, I get away with it with this, but I could really, and that will tell you what you need. Or you could say, man, that 75 is just not a good enough reach for me. Maybe you need to look up into a 200 millimeter or a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. This is a great starting point and it doesn't break the bank at 
899 for that version two. So you got to pick up this lens. It's a, it's a great starter. Now you're saying, well, Paul, you know, I want the compactness of the a7C a lot more. I mean, that does stick out a little bit. And then you can also find this 17 to 28. Now secret, the 16 to 28 Sigma was not out when I bought this lens. Otherwise I would have bought that one. So they're the same price. I think this one's on sale right now for like $100 cheaper than the Sigma. I suggest if you're looking for a wide, get the Sigma 16 to 28 instead of this one. But I've never personally had any experience with it. And I wasn't going to buy a new lens for one millimeter. This lens fits so well on the a7C. It's nice, compact. The zoom, when you zoom it to 28 or, or, or higher than 17, it's just, it, it's all internal zoom. So you don't have to worry about this protruding any and it stays the same size. So it's really great for that. This I find using all the time for you know landscapes. I absolutely love getting as wide as I can with landscapes. Sometimes, a lot of the times, 24 millimeter just isn't good enough for those landscapes. And I like to go out to 20 or 17. And this is a great lens for that. It keeps at that 2.8 aperture, just like the other Tamron lens that I said. And it is a great starter. Both of these lenses are 67 millimeter filter thread. And it's an all around great, great lens. Same design, very lightweight. Uh, this one does not have a version two yet. I'm really interested to see if they come out with like a version two or if they end up just coming out with an, a 16 to 28, just like Sigma did and kind of blow them away with the same size and add in their new autofocus motors. But time will tell as of right now. And as of this video, this is the better lens to buy from Tamron in that wide angle lens. But like I said, if this is the only option still to this date in this video, go check out the Sigma. 16 to 28. Just saying, it's a little bit heavier, built a little bit more metally, I guess, of more me more metal, but it's a little bit he like 30 grams heavier than this one. But still, I love that 16 millimeter range. If you can get it, get it, because one millimeter does make a difference on those wide angle shots. But not to say that this lens is bad. This thing is amazing, and it still is light. It's it's still beaded on light and it's small compact i love it the focusing distance just like on this one this one's almost macro like same with this one you can get really close to those flowers and really close to those you know waterways and streams when you're getting those nice f photos and for videos you can get really close to your subjects and still be in focus and not have to worry about how far back you are so all around, this is a great lens. I, I love it. I'll show some photos and videos, hopefully splattered throughout this whole entire video. But if somebody was saying, what lens do I need to buy for my first lens? The It's going to be one of these two, in my opinion, because it really depends on what style you mainly shoot. If you're mainly doing vlogs all day and you have a full frame camera, this A7C or, or any Sony full frame camera, then you're gonna need to get a wide lens. This and the Sigma are the most affordable wide angle lenses. And you know, if you can afford it, sure, go for that Sony G Master. But I think it's a little bit out of the of the question when you're talking about a lens that pairs well with the A7C. Sure, it looks great. It's got a nice wide range, but it's so heavy that it just kind of defeats a purpose. I like these small light portable lenses for the a7c you can just carry it throw it in your bag not to worry about it it doesn't hurt your hand all day when you're shooting with it the image quality out of these things are just fantastic tamron knocked it out of the park with these as far as budget and and build and they did a nice blend of everything and they're they're sharp i'm telling you they, they look great i have i Nobody is going to complain. I've shot client work with both of these lenses and they can't tell. It's really up to you. Choose which one of these two. If you can't choose and you're like, Paul, I really don't know. Just get the 28 to 75. It has a larger range and you can do more. So if you're looking for your first lens for your A7C, this is a lens that I suggest. I absolutely love the size, the weight, 
get the version 2 2875. I got plenty of other content here on this channel for the A7C, so check it all out, subscribe, do all the fun YouTubey things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future. <sighs> Didn't plan that one out very well. That was did I know what I was talking about? It's like hot as get go in this room too. My goodness. If I turn the fan on, it catch it and it'll go.